of the Messi and Ike show, we actually just thought that there was going to be a proposal this week or you know, just something like that. But um, uh, they just killed my vibe. and welcome back to my channel my name is Austin Becker if this is the first time here you are most definitely welcome please do watch it on subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoy watching it okay let me just tell you guys here yeah, today's episode of the Messi and Ike show had a lot of mushy mushy moments because they kept on talking about engagement rings they kept on talking about settling down and in my head I'm like can this happen already like we are tired of waiting. Now, as usual, I'm going to run you guys through the events of today's episode and then, you know, tell you guys what I think about every single thing that happened, okay? And the first thing that opened to us today, being the seventh episode of the Messi and Ike show, was in Messi's house. You know, Messi had a meeting with her sales girl, you know, her sales girl from the M&M &M collection. They talked about the brand, you know, the clothing, pictures, and just their Instagram posts, captions, and just all that business stuff. They had to figure out what worked for the page and just how to go about it. Now, the next thing we actually saw was Ike going for his tattoo set. We had this tattoo guy who came all the way from Ghana, you know, to Nigeria and all of that. The guy's name is Frank. And you know, for Ike, he sees drawing of tattoos as some kind of therapy. You know, for him, he just calms his nerves and all of that stuff. And like he told us, he had his first tattoo at the age of 16. So not be today. All those things all they see for him, but not be today, not start to the draw. You know, he actually made us understand that when people see him with tattoo and all of that, they already have a perception about him. You know, some people see him as a criminal. Some people think, oh, it's cool. But even his own mom. Your mama was born and thinks that it is devilish and his mom keeps telling him that Ike this thing is devilish, this thing is devilish you know so he's already used to it and according to him it's not just a Nigerian thing okay because we feel like oh in Nigeria when you draw this kind of tattoos they look at you somehow he made it clear to us that they still look at him somehow even in the states so I think it's just a general thing okay so those of us that keep thinking oh Nigeria we have this kind of mentality I think this should give us a little bit of hope okay we're not the only ones that look at things like that now of course you guys remember me telling you last week that Ike and Messi had a dinner date you know it was actually Ike's idea I actually felt like it was really important for him to put in a lot of effort to try and make things work at least let them just settle this their whole wahala but he also mentioned that he's the only one that's always trying to compromise he's the only one that's always trying to be the bigger person you know that Messi has never done that before but then again he's still willing to try and trust me this whole idea of having a dinner with Ike actually made Messi very excited because one of the things she mentioned one of the concerns she has always had is the fact that they are always in people faces you know so she's always trying to stay away from all of those stairs although she always wants to have time with Ike she wants to have like personal time with him and all of that in open places but then you know how it can be when we see celebrities some of us they forget our own training okay we want to just be like oh Messi oh Ike so I think she's not really used to that and she doesn't really want all of that attention drawn to her when she's certainly trying to have a me time but well, not me because it's not me she's having a me time with when she's certainly trying to have a damn time, you know, she and Ike, you guys get the gist, right? During the dinner, they had a lot of intimate conversations. Like, me, myself, I was really excited that they had come to the point where, you know, they could comfortably talk about it. You know, Messi was rubbing it in his face that, look, I want the ring, okay? I want the ring. If the baba don't want to shake body, Messi has to help him shake body. Can you guys even believe Ike told Messi that when they hit their big money, that when they hit a particular amount of money, he's going to get another tattoo on his neck that would read Messi? You know, because he was showing Messi the tattoo he already got from the Frank guy, and you know, I think he wrote blessed here. And in you know, another part of his hand, he had the big brother eye. Trust me, he mentioned that he was going to draw that big brother tattoo when they were in the house. He said it a long time ago, and this just proved him to be someone who keeps to his words because he actually had the big brother eye tattooed on his skin. Now, Messi's like, wait, so you are telling me that when we hit big money, the next thing you want to go and get? Is another tattoo. And he said, like, okay, what do you want? Do you want us to get a house? She said, no. Do you want us to get new cars? She said, no. Do you want us to go on another trip? She said, no. And I was like, okay, what do you want? And she was like, I want us to settle the F down. Look, if this guy is not getting the clue, it's high time Messi started telling him the way she started doing today because I don't understand. We they talk marriage, they talk settle down. You did that they follow me talk tattoo. They talk say you want buy a lacquer. Who sky team be this now? Who sky wala be this? Now on the most serious note, guys, they actually had fun together. They talked about a lot of things. In fact, Ike was asking Messi how she would have felt if he had proposed to her on the grand finale of the Big Brother Nigeria show. And Messi was like, yes, I'm sure they're taking the ring. 
but let me just tell you anytime you offend me i'll take out that same ring and throw it at you and i was like why would you do that she was like but then again when i look at the ring i'll still have to forgive you because i know that you really want me and i want to be with you as well guys they really had like all these like love love conversations and i'm like hell love is sweet love is sweet something will make ike say Immediately you saw Messi like this, yeah, you know, looking all dressed and, you know, looking very beautiful. He just forgets all the problems when they get. You know, he actually told himself that he has to really make this relationship work, that he has to try his best. But then that if the relationship doesn't now work, he shall know that he has tried. And that one thing we should not forget is that throughout this relationship, there's been a lot of dishonesty, there's been a lot of cheating, and there's been a lot of lying. But that he's willing to look past all of that and just look beyond to see if there's any hope, to see if there's any future for them because he would really really love to have that with Messi. And for Messi, she actually felt like that dinner made her feel like Ike still wanted her and that Ike still wanted to make things work and that made her really really happy. To be honest, the long and short of this their dinner was Messi telling Ike what she wants. She wants an engagement ring. At some point, Ike actually took out the ring that he was wearing on his fingers and you know slid it into her own and she was like, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. I want us to just settle down. You know, we can start up businesses and all of that and just live happily ever after. I feel like that's what Messi's priority is right now but i'm not so sure that ek is on the same page i get that ek really wants to be with Messi. i get that he really likes her and i understand that there could be a lot of struggles with that because they are celebrities and all of that and regardless of that he's still willing to make it work but what i'm not sure about is if he's on the same marriage you know proposal level as Messi. next up was ike having a meeting with los giddy he's a photographer and i think the guy is trying to put ike through on photography because ike is trying to set up a studio in his house where he could take pictures for his brand his ice cream brand ice cream is actually not the ice cream that we eat it's actually ice cream the cloth brand you know so he's trying to set up a studio where his models can come over to the house he'll take them pictures and just make things work Ike doesn't just want to take the photography pictures for his brand alone he actually wants to own a photography studio so Los Guinea is basically just trying to get Ike to be on the right path you know photography wise and all of that the kind of lighting you need to get your setup your background all of those things are what they discuss during this meeting okay now to the highlight of today's episode the conversation between Messi and Promi I don't understand promise. I keep saying this thing. I really don't understand her because I did not want to mess up everything she said. I actually wrote it down, so I'm just going to read out what she said to Messi. Now, the first thing promise mentioned to Messi was the fact that she needs to speak to Ike so that he can caution his fans to stop attacking her because every single time Ike's fans keep dragging Messi or keep dragging Messi's friends and all of that. So, promise thinks that that should stop, and I agree because again, I remember the whole Twitter fight between Messi's fans and Ike's fans, it was bloody. So, I think on that note, I would agree with promise but then she quickly moved away from that to say that ek is messi's problem you know that the fact that she's now feeling like she needs to see a therapist she needs to see a psychologist it's as a result of the issues she's having with ek so they need to actually sit down and talk about it for her she feels like messi is perfectly fine that the only problem she's having is ek and let me tell you she did not stop there she went on to tell messi that ek is playing games i'm actually quoting her now she said ek is playing games he's using you to get to where he wants to be Besides, you are not even betrothed to Ike. And I feel like those things she actually said to Messi got into her head because Messi said something. She was like, oh, my sister is telling the truth because sometimes when I look at it, I feel like Ike is not even doing anything about it. Ike is just very reluctant about things. Ike is this, Ike is that. And I'm like, can promise just stay away from this relationship? I get the fact that Messi and Ike are not perfect, but I'm sure that they love each other enough to want to make it work. So if you're putting ideas in their heads, it's probably going to just make things worse because when I'm thinking of settling with Ike, I'm thinking of what Promise is saying and it's almost like, am I going to choose my man over my sister? Am I going to choose my sister over my man? The truth is, I never want to be in that space where I have to choose between my partner and my siblings because I mean, my partner is my partner, my siblings are my siblings. So there's really no need trying to compare and trying to choose and that's basically what Promise is trying to make Messi do and I really do not like that fact. I feel like Promise should just withdraw a little bit and just tone down the whole sisterly advice. I get that she's looking out for Messi but I also think it's a little too much so she needs to just tone it down a bit like just just a tiny bit okay that won't hurt anybody all right and as 
as usual, they gave us a sneak peek into next week's episode. I think Messi went to meet up with Ike somewhere and he was holding a camera. So I'm thinking he took pictures of Messi. And the next thing they showed us was Messi and Promise in a pool. You know, they were swimming and just having conversations. And Messi mentioned to Promise that Ike talked about proposing. And she was asking Promise, do you think I should say yes or no? Guys, I don't know what Promise's response is going to be. But what do you think? Do you think she's going to encourage Messi to say yes? Or do you think she's just going to be like, you know, oh, Messi, I don't think you should even be with this guy. He's not betrothed to you. He's not doing anything. So just tell him no and move on. Like, what do you guys think Promise's response will be? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye!